World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Enamel Hypoplasia Dental enamel is the hardest and most resistant substance in the human body. It is the last layer that covers each tooth. Some diseases cause this layer of the tooth to have less enamel than normal, which leads to multiple problems. Welcome to another informative video from World of Dentistry. Today, you will be able to learn what is enamel hypoplasia, what does it look like, what causes it, how to treat it, and how to prevent it. Enamel hypoplasia is an alteration in the enamel matrix that occurs during the tooth formation process, causing the amount of enamel produced to be less than usual, all of which occurs before the teeth appear in the mouth. This condition can affect both the first teeth of children and the permanent teeth of adults. Normally, dental enamel appears translucent and shiny white. When this alteration occurs, depending upon the level of severity, mild, moderate, or severe, the following characteristics may be present in the tooth. Mild hypoplasia, small whitish opaque spots or yellow-brown spots. Moderate hypoplasia, depressions or holes with color change are observed making the tooth look rough and less smooth than normal. These cavities are known as enamel erosions. Severe hypoplasia. The enamel has been completely lost. The innermost part of the tooth will be observed, which is yellowish in color and is called dentin. Teeth with dental hypoplasia may present the following complications. Increased sensitivity. It occurs especially when consuming hot and cold food or drinks. Dental caries. Due to the roughness present in the tooth, it is more likely that food remains trapped, bacterial plaque or tartar forms, and carious cavities appear. Intense pain and infection. When dental caries is in an advanced state near the dental nerve. But what causes enamel hypoplasia? This appears when the special cells that make up tooth enamel, called ameloblasts, are affected during the development process. There are multiple causes of this condition. Hereditary factors. Amelogenesis imperfecta, a congenital alteration of the development of the teeth, which can cause variations in the quantity and quality of dental enamel. Complex hereditary diseases, such as Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, Seckel syndrome, and Usher syndrome, among others. Environmental factors. Malnutrition, low birth weight, premature, bacterial or viral infections, such as otitis, respiratory diseases, or urinary tract infections, vitamin D deficiency in the mother during pregnancy, cigarette habit in the mother during pregnancy, trauma to the gum level that affects the tooth germ, use of antibiotics, such as tetracyclines, lack of maternal prenatal care. Treatment will depend upon the severity of dental injuries. Mild hypoplasia, both in children and adults, follow-up and oral hygiene reinforcements can be done, focusing on avoiding complications. Specifically in adults, dental whitening can also be used in case the stains present on the teeth affect it aesthetically. Moderate hypoplasia. If the holes in the teeth are small, in both children and adults, it is recommended to cover those areas without enamel with sealants, adhesive, or resin. Severe hypoplasia. In cases where the holes in the teeth are very large, you can also cover the entire tooth with crowns. In children, metallic crowns will be placed, while in adults, porcelain, metal porcelain crowns, or veneers can be placed. Finally, in very severe cases when it is not possible to carry out a restoration, the indication will be to extract the tooth, in adults, it can be replaced with a prosthesis or a dental implant, while in children, depending upon their age, clinical and radiographic monitoring should be done during the eruption of the permanent teeth. In some cases, an appliance can be placed to maintain space while the new teeth are coming in. In most cases, it is not possible to prevent enamel hypoplasia but you can reinforce dental enamel care through good oral habits, such as mother's diet, during pregnancy and after delivery, 
The mother should eat healthy foods that provide the vitamins and minerals that the baby needs to optimal development, fruits, vegetables, and vitamin supplements. Child's Diet The child's diet should be rich in vitamin A, D, and calcium. Children must enjoy foods like milk, orange juice, and vegetables, which will help strengthen their teeth. They should avoid sugary and acidic foods, or if they must eat them, brush their teeth as soon as possible to reduce the risk of dental caries. Oral Hygiene The mother must clean her baby's gums before the first tooth appears in the mouth, thus avoiding the appearance of infections or diseases that may affect the dental germ of the developing teeth. Those who present enamel hypoplasia, whether adults or children, must maintain excellent oral hygiene and use toothpaste, toothbrush, dental floss, and mouthwash. In addition, attend dental consultation regularly to evaluate the evolution of hypoplastic lesions and carry out the reinforcements and treatments as necessary. We hope you learned a lot today. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.